is up YouTube. We are up here in the beautiful northern Wisconsin area. Got this beautiful lake behind me, as you can see. Loving it. We're doing some work up here, doing a little bit of musky fishing. Haven't caught nothing yet, but that's going to change. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, my name is Sam Aldridge, aka Sam the Cameraman, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribing, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the dope content that we are going to be dropping in the next couple weeks. I know I've been a little slow, but that is about to change. We're going to try to do two a week coming up. And let me know down in the comments, do you guys want some vlogs? Do you guys want some more gear reviews? I want to hear from you, so make sure you guys are putting it in the comments what you want to see, if you want to see more fusion tutorials or whatever it is let me know and i'm gonna let you guys know how to do whatever it is that you want to do or review any gear you want or just maybe show you a little bit of insight into my life down in nashville or as i travel during these times but anyways today we are going to be going over my three most favorite effects within davinci resolve and i know a lot of people kind of forget about the open effects like panel so we're gonna go over that we're gonna show you guys what I use and how I use them and how you can be utilizing these effects in your project so let's not waste any more time and let's make this happen all right guys now that we are back here in DaVinci Resolve yet again we are gonna be going over my three most favorite effects in the open effects tab within DaVinci Resolve and if you don't see it on your edit page at the open effects tab it's gonna be right down here on your left hand side if your toolbox is open where you're gonna see your crossfades and all of that and your video trans uh, transitions and your audio transitions don't worry just come down here click open effects and you have all of these effects right here now I will say you can do all of these effects within the color tab as well which is really awesome that they will translate over to the color tab where you can fine-tune it even more than in here with different trackers and everything but I like to always get the most out of my effects that I can here on the edit page and then if I need to fine-tune or do any adjustments I can do so in the color tab as well so it's really cool that it's interchangeable between the edit page and the color tab and all of that so that's one thing I really love about DaVinci but let's get into my very first effect that I use all the time if we watch this clip right here back we can see that there's no movement it's a complete static shot it's on a tripod locked off i have a good friend of mine david just drumming away let's add some camera shake now we could go through in and you know position it you know zoom in and use position and adjust it that way and create our own camera shake and make it look as realistic as possible we could do that but that's time consuming and we don't want to waste time doing that so if you just scroll down you just got to keep scrolling down and there's going to be an effect called camera shake and it's going to be right here under resolve xf or fx transform you know drag it and drop it right onto your clip that simple all right now that it's on our clip if we watch it back we can see that there is some camera movement on this clip if we watch it back we can see that that camera is shaking however I don't want it to shake that much. Now to adjust these effects, once you drag them and drop them onto your clips, make sure your clip is selected. And you come up here and you're gonna see that this open FX uh, tab is now able to be clicked. We're gonna click on that. And right down here, we can see that camera shake is enabled and we have all of these different adjustments for camera shake. Now you can go through and you can play with this how you want. I always bring down the speed scale so I don't want it to be that fast and maybe my motion scale just a little bit and bring my motion blur up now as you can see it's going to be a little bit less of a motion it's going to be more natural like more of a camera real camera shake if you're doing it handheld and now the all of these are key frameable so if you wanted it to be no camera shake you could just come over here hit your keyframes and bring all of it down to zero bring it up and then bring it back up to whatever you needed it to be so you could have nothing you could have no camera shake to camera shake or whatever you want it to be so which is really cool the idea that you can adjust these however you want keyframe them and if you really wanted to have like a big camera shake like on a big hit or something you can then just ramp this all the way up and it's going to shake and that could be a, 
a whole new transition and on its own. So that is my first effect that I always use. All right, moving on to the next effect that I like to use. And I have a whole another video that I've already made on this. It's going to be light rays. And I will link that up on the top right or left hand corner, whatever it is. And I'll put it in the link or I'll put the link in the description below if you want to deep dive into light rays. But I'll quick show you what it does. I love using these light rays effect, especially on shots like this where there's light coming in or, you know, where there's light coming in off of a window or something. It is really, really cool. So if you just come right under here after under the resolve FX light, you're going to grab the light rays, drag it right onto your clip. And already we can see that there is something happening to our clip. So we're going to come over, select a clip here that we added the light rays to. Make sure we're under open effects and you're going to see light rays is enabled. Now what the light rays affects is all of your highlight area, all the like where the highlights are. It's going to affect that area. But what we can do is come to our source threshold and if you bring it down, it's going to increase. If you bring it up, it's going to decrease. So I want to bring it so it only affects these lights really. And now what you can do is you can adjust your X position. You can adjust your Y positions and you can also adjust the length, the softness, if you wanted it real soft, the brightness. I mean, there are so many adjustments that you can do on all of these effects to make them unique and in your own way. So I want to bring it like that. And the cool thing about this is that Resolve just tracks these light rays to the highlights automatically for you. So you don't have to like constantly track them and they move with your camera, which is so awesome. Like if we play this back, like it'll just continue to move with the camera. And if we just scrub through it, because my computer's slow, like not the best for all of these effects, but it works. But it's a cool way to add like a whole new dimension to your video, like adding these light rays. And another thing that sometimes I'll combine with the light rays and this is kind of a bonus effect here is glow right up here if you just grab glow drag it on and as we can see those highlights are just bloomed out tremendously now if we just scroll down on our open effects you're going to see that glow is right here if we just double click on it it's going to open right up and now we can make all of these adjustments right here so we can increase the spread decrease right, decrease increase spreads I want it a little bit less and I'm going to bring down the threshold. I'm going to bring it up. So it's not so bad. You can bring down your brightness, bring up your brightness. And this is a really cool way. If any of you have ever used a pro mist filter, how they bloom your highlights and soften your highlights. This is a really cool way to kind of fake that effect. So if you didn't use a pro mist filter or you really want to kind of get that glowy bloomy highlight look, adding this glow to your clips or your whatever your images or whatever it is that you're putting on here really helps kind of like sell that promise effect if you have not used a promise filter which is really really cool and there's like again you can colorize your glows we can change this color to whatever we want let's do a green glow and that's going to have the glow around the edges if you can see is green so that's pretty cool you can do all kinds of cool stuff see how the tint of that glow is green so there's so much you can do with glow itself and you don't need to partner it with uh, light rays but I love to partner it with the light rays I think it's a really cool way to sell different effects so my next favorite effect over here in the open effects tab is going to be the D flicker now if we come over to this clip here I have on the right and we just scrub through it really slow if you pay close attention we'll make it a little bigger so you can see there's going to be like these lines in the video you can see that just a little bit by going back and forth now I shoot a lot of live video and sometimes the light the frequencies of it do not match your uh, shutter speed so you get these lines in the, your footage and it kind of gets ruined and you might get a really great shot but it is like I said kind of ruined because no one wants to have these lines in their video and sometimes it's more prominent than this It'll stand out a lot more, but however, there is a way to get rid of those. It's called the D flicker effect. So we're going to find it down here and it's going to be under resolve FX 
revival, find D flicker, drag and drop. And just like that, if we just scrub back and forth, they're already gone, as you can see. But there's some adjustments we can make to make it look even better. So click on the clip. Again, make sure your open FX tab is open. And there's your D flicker settings. We can open all this up and we can make all kinds of adjustments. But the really only adjustment I ever really make is I go down to either time lapse or floral light. Floral light kind of like brings back a little bit more detail, I feel. And then sometimes you have to do the time lapse, but a lot of times I'm using the floral light setting. And as you can see, I have detail of my person here and all of those lines are gone. No more flicker and it saves your footage. Now it doesn't work 100% of the time. I would say 95% of the time, this effect will save your footage if you have those lines in it. And it saved me numerous times, especially when your whole show, every single clip, if you're trying to shoot like in 60 frames a second or like 120 frames per second, if your whole entire show has every clip and has lines like this in it, it definitely has saved me a tremendous amount. So those are my three, kind of four, if you want to call it that glow effect, four favorite effects that I use pretty much on a daily basis or at least a video, each video basis when it comes to editing. In DaVinci Resolve. Now we could do a whole entire tutorial on every single effect in here because there's so many cool ones and almost all of them are free in the free version which is super cool obviously there's some really awesome ones if you get the paid version that you can use but a lot of these are all able to be used with the free version which is so cool and uh, if that's something you guys want to see is kind of go through each and every like section of effects and kind of explain them let me know in the comments below because that is something I definitely could do we can make a whole series just every effect explained so I'd love to do that for you guys if that's something you want to see like I said let me know in the comments but that is going to wrap it up for this video guys if you haven't already make sure you smash that like button share this with any of your editing friends subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys do not miss out on any future tutorials I know I took the last two weeks were kind of slow for me on video tutorials. I was busy with some work, but you know what? We're back at it. We're coming at it even stronger than before, and we're going to get out some really cool stuff coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on it. But for now, guys, I'm going to catch you in the next one.